Hello YouTube, this is Kelly. Um, I am approximately a week and a half after surgery, post-op. It's been interesting. I had two surgeries last year. Both I bounced back from very quickly. Uh, I will say this one has been a little frustrating. I expected to bounce back a little better. Um, I guess I have to admit I'm no spring chicken anymore. I'm 38. Uh, I'll be 39 this month. Today is July 1st. Um, so after surgery, I was definitely in some pain. Um, took no painkillers, but you know, ab muscles, you use them all the time. I had two C-sections, so I know. But uh, sleeping was definitely uncomfortable. Uh, I did the shakes for about four days. Um, then I slowly moved into food. No, I wasn't supposed to, but I was hungry. Um, so I believe that the swelling's gone down from the surgery internally, and I can pretty much eat whatever I want. That doesn't mean I am eating whatever I want. Um, I'm making cautious choices. I think today I'm going to start a food journal um, so I can see what I'm eating. Um, I'm gaining a pound or two back because I haven't been able to exercise. Uh, I, from what I understand, you're supposed to wait six weeks, but frustrated with the fact that I don't want to gain any weight back. I think I've gained three pounds uh, this week. Um, I'm hoping to, because I'm eating food, um, I may go to two shakes and one meal and see if I can start walking. My follow-up isn't until July 5th. I thought it a bit odd that it's two, two weeks before your first follow-up visit, but what are you going to do? My frustration has mostly been that my doctor's office, who kept touting the, you know one of the most important relationships you're going to have is with this office, and we want to keep it a really good relationship, and yada, 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 which made me feel so good to start with, they hadn't filled out any of my paperwork. So I've been out of work. I'm now on disability. Disability contacted their office three times. I, I went to their office before I was released from the hospital with my um, paperwork for them to fill out. So, you know, I've called their office every day for the last eight days, and they still didn't fill it out. And then apparently yesterday, which was the last day before they closed my disability case, they said that they did. I have to follow up and call disability. But I said to them, I find it extremely frustrating that, you know, you want me to focus on my recovery and I'm afraid of losing my job and not getting paid for two weeks. You know, in this economy, it's, it's not an easy task. So that's some of the other stuff I've been dealing with um, along with the recovery. I've been home with my kids, which I normally don't get to see as much as I'd like, so I've enjoyed that. Unfortunately, though, I am very limited as to what I can do because of the surgery. Uh, my kids go in the pool. I can't go in the pool for obvious reasons. Um, you know, it's weird having so many incisions. Uh, I'm not complaining. I don't regret my decision. I'm very excited, and I know that I am going to be successful. Um, I'm not going to get discouraged because I had a three-pound gain. This is a journey. Um, you know, everybody has an opinion. I was told that. Uh, I have a lot of people telling me, you know, why don't you get a fill? Don't leave the office without a fill. And my doctor's office doesn't do a fill right away, which I happen to agree with. I would like to fully heal. I would like to start exercising and see if I can start losing weight without a fill. And then if I can't, then I'll consider a fill. But I believe that if I were working out right now, I would be losing weight. So it's a slow and steady process, and uh, I'm not looking to rush the process. And uh, following the rules, that's a process for me too. Um, I have to do better with not drinking with meals, and I know that that's just habit. So I will get better at that too. So that's where I'm at. Um, I'm approximately 243 pounds. Um, and I say approximately because my scale at home never matches the scale at the doctor's office, so I'm going to have to get that to match soon. Um, sorry it's taken me so long to get a video up. 
but uh, I've been pretty consumed. Um, but please respond, comment, uh, love to hear what you have to say. Best of luck to you all. Enjoy the summer. Uh, have a happy 4th of July weekend. Uh, I'm not too concerned about the holiday weekend and the food thing. You know, I guess because I'm being so cautious, because I just have the ban, that uh, I know that I'm making good choices because I don't want to put anything or my surgery at risk. So, you know, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Well, although I'm still supposed to be on liquids. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm comfortable with what I'm doing and confident that I'm going to be extremely successful. And it's a slow and steady process. And so I think I'm going to try and go for a, a short walk today. I am out on disability, so I'm not supposed to be doing too much as far as my occupation goes. Um, but walking is good. So um, I'm going to try and uh, get out and go for a walk today and see if I can't lose those... Uh, those three pounds before I get to the doctor's office on the 5th. All right, all, uh, have a happy holiday weekend, and I will update again shortly. Bye.